Hi guys, it is another beautiful day and this is from the studios of Golden Eye Films TV. My name is Mr. Adams. Today I am going to give you another interesting topic. The topic I'm going to talk about is revenge, 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 revenge. The reason why I'm bringing you this topic is that I received a call from someone I know very well. And what he was telling me is that someone has hurt him so much so that the only thing he's seeking is revenge. The only thing he's seeking is revenge. And I asked him what happened. He said his best friend slept with his wife. His best friend slept, his, his, slept with his wife. That was the reason he wanted to seek revenge. That is why I want us to talk about this uh, topic today. Revenge, 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 revenge. So many people can hurt you in different ways. People, people can be hurt in different ways. Like I guess missing a friend that I know who just told me that a friend of uh, his best friend has slept with the wife and for that matter he's seeking revenge. That is his, that is the side of uh, head that he wants to revenge. Then we have different type of revenge. We have different type of head that people normally hurt us. And the most annoying thing about head is people who normally cause us trouble, people who normally give us sleepless nights, people who normally hurt us so much, are people that are very close to us. They are very, very close to us. Either relatives, family members, best friends, wives, girlfriends, people that we know. People that we, we, we at times, we are so surprised and amazed when we, when we happen to know that this is the person who has done this to me. At times it's very, 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 very difficult to understand. Because when people hurt us, when people we know hurt us, it simply means that they are doing it intentionally. That is what I believe. Okay, when somebody hurts you and you got to know the person, and the person is someone very close to you, it means that the person is doing it intentionally. Yes. Like the example I guess give. Your best friend sleeping with your wife. He knows that person is your wife. He knows that woman is your wife. But he still went ahead to sleep with her. It means that he is doing it intentionally. Just like vice versa. So at times, when we are seeking revenge, we have to be very, very, very careful. Because almost 90% of people who want to take revenge normally end up in more trouble. The reason why I'm saying that you end up in more trouble for is that, for example, you return from work to, to meet your, your wife, your lovely wife, in, in bed with another man. And that man happened to be somebody you know. What are you going to do? What are you going to do at that particular situation? What are you going to do? I'm sure 70% of 70% of people, men will want to hurt that person. They will even go ahead to kill that person. Whether who go or group, they will try to hurt that person. Which is very, very wrong. I'm not talking for only the men. You can also go and see your, your, your husband sleeping with your best friend as a woman. And you, also, you can also attack the, 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 the lady in question. That is what I'm trying to say. But people hurt her in so many ways, even in your job, in your employment, your colleague, your supervisor, your manager, or anybody can also hurt you. They can hurt you so much so that your life, your future is terminated. Everything about you, your hope is, is gone. So when people put you in that situation and you have no other option, you always want to take revenge. Because at times so, the people who that they might be powerful than us, they are too powerful than you. So no matter if you want to go toe to toe with them, they can do not get anywhere. So at times people find 
different ways and means to get back at people who hurt them. And people can hurt you in so many ways. Like I was just talking about your job. People, colleagues, managers, supervisors can hurt you so much. They can free you up, take your job from you and make you useless. You are in the house and the only thing you are thinking, especially if what they have done to you is not justified. There's no justification for what they have done to you. I think it hurts so much that somebody can do this to you. So because you have no choice, you are thinking of how am I going to get back at this person. Whether it takes you 10 years, 20 years, that is what is in your mind. I must revenge. So, revenge at times is normal, but if you don't take care, if you don't take precaution and you go ahead and try to revenge anyhow or any way, you might end up in trouble. You might end up getting to in jail. That will even worsen your case because it will not solve your problem. There are people out there when they are hurting you, they don't know, they actually don't know the repercussions that they are doing to you. They don't, they don't know what they are actually doing to you. Somebody with a wife and children at home and you kill the person. You've taken a, a job from that person. You've made the person useless. How do you expect the person to sit down and watch you? Somebody can sit down and leave everything to God. That is the best thing to do. Like I said, if it is a criminal case, allow the law to take it. Because you can report the person to the police, let them investigate. And then if it is true that the person has done this, then the law, let the law take its course. If it is a family issue, where a family member sleeps with another um, uh, family member or somebody uh, um, somebody has taken your property, a family member has taken your property from you or has um, taken your property to to be means in ways and you don't know how to get it back. These are things that happen. These are things that people do to hurt us and we always are finding ways and means to get back at them. So people will always try to take revenge. No matter what they, no matter the outcome, they will always try to get back at people who hurt them so much. The other day I saw a nest with the remains of with the remains of chicks. It's like the bed has just Giving a new a newborn uh, uh, chicks, the remains, their, their skeletons were in the nest. And what came to my mind is that the bird might have gone out there to hunt for food to bring it for the chicks to eat, to feed them. But maybe as it was out there, something happened to it. Either someone killed it, or something happened to it that it couldn't return to feed the chickens. What happened? Because they did not get food to eat, they all died. So it means that when you see people out there, when you see people walking up and down, you see this person pass here, this person pass here, this person is going west, this person is going north, this one is going east, this one is going south. No, people are always looking to find food for their family. People are always looking for to find ways and means to help their family, to find ways and means to find shelter, food and clothing for their family. That is why you see people moving up and in the night everybody goes back to the house to go and sleep. So if you see someone out there, out there, 
working hard and what the only thing you are thinking is I want to help this person I want to make this person useless I want to make him hopeless I want to take what is is enjoying from him and make him useless you don't know what you are doing behind his back because there are people depending on him or her but because of your selfless interest or your selfish interest you've got to terminate that person life you've, you've got to kill that person you've got to destroy that person how will he get back how will he get back and feed his family remember once you've taken that person off his family will become destroyed so when you are hurting people remember that you might not only hurting that person, you are hurting thousands of people behind him. Family members, children, wives. So people who have, there are some people, they are, they have passion for hurting people. That is their job. They have passion and work side. They are all, the only thing they, they rely is let me put this person into trouble. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this so that everybody will like me. So that everybody will. You are only joking. The only God that we serve is watching you. You are destroying your image to God. And you are also destroying your image to your friends, your colleagues, and everybody. Because everybody will come to know that you are a very, very bad person. So if that is your habit, your habit is to be going around destroying people, hurting people, and then you must stop. Because I am not here to say that hurting revenge is the best. No. Like I said, we should always allow revenge. We can solve it amicably. We can find solution, resolution. If someone sleeps with your wife and you think that um, you don't like your wife anymore, the matter cannot be settled, then you can divorce your wife. Don't go killing the person. You kill the person, they will put you, they will put you in jail, and you will, will come for more. You will come to your wife for more, for more sex. So it is better you take your time and find a solution to solve this problem. You see your boyfriend, with, your girlfriend with another guy. Instead of you to sit down with your girlfriend, talk to him. You let her go to attack the other person who is innocent. He might not even tell the person that he's married, she's married or she has a boyfriend. No. A family member has find a dubious ways to take your father's property or to take your property from you. There's always a solution. Don't take the cutlass. Don't take the gun. Don't take the knife. Don't go to the spiritualist to destroy that person. There's always a solution. God will always find a way to solve our problems. So when you are hurt, like I said, if it is a criminal case, let the law take it course. Report it to the police and let them handle it. Don't take revenge. That is all I have for you today. Never take revenge in your, into your own hands. It will never help. It will put you in more trouble. And 70% of people who take revenge are normally even worse in the case that they are in. Don't waste your case by taking revenge. Let God handle those people. Let the police handle those people. Let um, God judge those people. And always remain cool. When people take you out from their job, when people frame you up and take you from your, from your job and, 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 and try to make your family suffer, try to destroy your family, let them suffer. Leave everything to God. Go to court. God will use the court to vindicate you. God will always use the court to vindicate you. So when you have serious problem, don't attack the person. Don't attack the person's family. Don't attack the person's children. Don't attack the person. Um, leave the person to God. Or if it's a criminal case, like I said, go to court. Uh, go to the police. And let's wait for God to use the law to solve your problem. God supersedes everybody. So no matter what someone has done to you, it is only temporary. Seek the face of God and God will see you through. He, God will use the system. God will use the laws. God will use the judges. God will use the police to solve your problem for you. That is all that I want to say. Don't let us take revenge. Revenge is not the best solution. It is not an option. 
It is not an option. Revenge is not. At times, revenge can lead people to um, attacking innocent people. Because when you are angry, you attack anything from a sick person, any, anybody that, that, that is close to the a person. And in my land, you want trouble. So that is why I brought this word to you. Let's remember that anything that happens to you in life, you cannot be, uh, you cannot be alive and expect that everybody will love you. People will do anything to hurt you. But after they hurt you, you must be mature. You must be a man and try to solve the problem amicably. Try to find ways and means to solve the problem amicably. That is all I have for all my cherished viewers and everyone out there. Thank you very much. And may God bless everyone. Bye-bye.